Hi guys, this is GSNO.com and I'm here with the unboxing of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T. In case you're wondering, it's basically the Note 8 with a faster charger and with NFC. That's about it. It was unveiled in November, so it's still pretty fresh, now in December, and it's time for an unboxing. Okay, enough suspense. I should mention that the phone is priced at around $160 and we got it right here in a beautiful blue version. Uh, it feels kind of heavy. It's a 200 gram phone which has glass at the back side with Gorilla Glass 5 protection, glass at the front side and in between them a plastic layer, a plastic frame basically. A very vivid blue that goes towards purple at the bottom side. Okay, so this is an unboxing, so let's see the inside of the box. First of all, uh, we got here a key used to access the slots, a metal key, and then let's see what else we got. So, of course, there's the user guide, and also, of course, there's the warranty card, and they also bundle a case. Xiaomi has been doing that lately quite a bit, bundling cases with phones. So, what we got here is transparent and slightly flexible, plus all the needed cutouts. That's the case. Inside the box, we got the hefty charger, 18 watt, and the promise of, let's see here, so 5 volts, 3 amperes, 9 volts, 2 amperes, 12 volts, 1.5 amperes. Pretty nice. The official promise is that you're going to be able to charge the phone in up to two hours in, at full, full capacity. And this is the USB-C to USB-A cable and that's about it. Nothing else inside the box. Okay, now let's focus on the phone for a bit. Uh, the first impression when I felt it in the hand uh, was that it resembled the Huawei P9 Lite or the P10 Lite. It was a bit of a throwback. It reminded me of them. So. The device here weighs 200 grams, it measures 8.6 millimeters in thickness and uh, it's got an IPS LCD screen up front with a 6.3 inch diagonal and a resolution of 2340 over 1080 pixels. It also has a notch here, a teardrop notch, where there is the front 13 megapixel camera. It runs on MIUI 10, which has, uh, well, which is based on Android Pie. And now we go here, choose a region. And because it mentioned the SIM card, this is a dual SIM phone that keeps the two SIM slots separate from the micro SD. Now, aside from the previously mentioned 6.3 inch Full HD Plus screen, there is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 CPU inside an octa-core chip, accompanied by 3 or 4 gigabytes of RAM and 3 versions of storage, 32, 64 or 128 gigabytes, plus micro SD. And then there is the 4000 mAh uh, battery which also offers fast charge and we already talked about the front camera with a 13 megapixel resolution. Now the selling point of the phone, uh, let's get this out of the way, I'm going to mention it. The selling point of the phone is obviously the quad camera at the back side. It protrudes a bit and focuses as the core camera for on the 48 megapixel AI shooter accompanied by an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, also 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel bokeh camera plus the LED flash. This camera does 4K video capture making it one of the cheapest phones that you can use to capture 4K video. We also have a fingerprint scanner at the back side and aside from that you're getting a singular speaker here, USB-C port, two microphones here next to the audio jack and a third microphone here at the top side right next to the infrared emitter so you can use this phone as a remote control for your TV, set-top box, console, air conditioning device, rice cooker or whatever you want. Other than that there's Wi-Fi dual band, Bluetooth 4.2, GPS, NFC, USB-C and that's about it. Now MIUI 10 is applied here on top of Android Pie with some customizations. Uh, the camera offers a 4K megapixel mode, it has an AI feature, it has a night mode Basically all the goodies we've seen on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi A3 for example. Now I have already played with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. I was pretty impressed by it, particularly the 64 megapixel camera. And I always wondered what the Note 8 was like. The Note 8 is very similar to the Note 8T, only this one has some extras, basically two of them, NFC and the faster charger bundled. This is what the experience is like, this is what the interface is like, I'm sure you've seen it before in our reviews. As usual, I'm going to have a quick gander of the camera interface. Okay, we have a macro shot mode here. 
So we have the regular mode, you can go ultra wide on it, you can go 2x zoom, and also we have a 48 megapixel mode, portrait mode, night mode, which should will surprising results judging by the last Xiaomi phones I've tested. Also video mode, and let's see uh, what resolution we got here. So there's full HD, full HD in 60 frames per second, and 4K is basically confirmed. Okay, that's about it. It feels like a Huawei P9 Lite, basically, but with a quad camera, affordable pricing, and I expect to have a pretty impressive charging battery and maybe even acoustics here. We're going to have to see about that as I test the phone over the next couple of days. This is it from jsnl.com. This has been the unboxing of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T. Bye-bye.